Okay, let's see how we can accomplish this one. This one is plate 5 in your skill set. And let's look at it. Okay? If we look at the instructions, okay? The instruction says use line and offset commands to locate the center points of the circles. There are two circles on each of the center points. Then trim the circles. The inside arcs are 1 and 1 eighth, half inch, and our fillets. Add center marks to the circles. Okay. So let's look at this. Okay. So we know that this circle is two and three quarter. And we know these circles, uh, let's see, are three quarter. So they're all three quarter. Okay. And then we know that these two are three and a half away from each other. We know this one's three and three quarter. And this one is seven and a half from each other. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is draw us a line here. And let's draw it three and three quarter inches long. Okay? So now we know that we have from here to here. So now let's do a circle. the diameter and we're going to start the circle the first one here and we're going to give it two and three quarter inches okay and then all we're going to do is copy this one we do not need to duplicate it with redrawing it we're just going to copy it now we're going to look at this here and we know it's three and a half okay so three and a half and this one is seven and a half so now what we're going to do is we are going to draw a line that is seven and a half inches long okay now we do know that that's where how long from here to here is. Now let's look and see the size of this one. It says it's three quarter. So let's do a circle here. Put it here. And let's make it three quarters of an inch. Okay. And we will copy it. From here to here. Okay. Now, if we wanted to, all we would have to do at this point is do copy this and this from this midpoint to this midpoint. And now we have the circles in place. Okay. And we can erase that. Now let's look at this one. This one is three and a half. So let's do some circles. We could actually copy this circle from the center to put it here. Okay, now we could do a line from the center of this up through here and give it three and a half inches. Okay, then we could copy this circle from the center to here. Now we can move this one here, here, from the midpoint here to the midpoint here. And now we have these circles in place. So we have all of our circles that are very important to us in place. Okay? So now let's look at what we need to do for here. Okay? This radius here for this one is one inch. Okay, so now we need to come over here and we need to do a circle that is two inches. Okay, we can copy that one over to, see if I can get out of that. 
Okay, let's copy this one from the center there to the center here. Okay, now let's look at this one. This one says it's one and an eighth for the radius. Okay, so we could come over here now and instead of doing diameter, let's do radius. And we're going to put it right here. And we're going to put 1.128. And that will be that one. And we could just copy it over. No sense in recreating it if you can just copy it. Okay. And now we need to look at the radius that is right here. It says the radius is 2 inches. So now we can come over here, select radius, do it from this center, and let's do 2 inches. And we will copy it. This one from the center here to the center here. Now we look at it, we go, wow, we have a whole bunch of circles, don't we? We sure do. So then we can come over here, and let's look at this one first. It says the radius is a half an inch. So what if we come over here, and we type the word fillet? Okay. It says choose your first object. Okay, and then choose your second object, but nothing happened. So now let's type fill it. Okay, and now what we're going to do is select radius. Now it wants us to tell us tell it what the radius is. The radius is a half an inch. So let's put 0.5 inches, and now let's select this one and this one. Okay. And now we need to keep going and let's do the same radius. Okay, do radius, same thing. Select this one and this one. Do it again. Select radius and do this one and this one. Okay, then let's look at the radius. Oh, we got one more to do. Okay, so let's do radius. It already has the half inch, so we'll do this one and this one. Now let's find out what the radius is of this one. It's one and an eighth. Okay, so now we want to do a radius of 1.128 inches. And we will select this one, this one. Hit it again, do radius, okay, tell it there, we're going to tell it this one, this one, hit it again, tell it radius, tell it one and an eighth, this one and this one, Then we're going to do it one more time, radius, an eighth still, select this one and this one. Now we look at it and we go, wow, that's pretty good. That works real well. Okay? So if we wanted to, we could come over here and draw a line from the end of that radius. Okay? To the end of this radius. We could draw a line from the end of this radius to the end of that radius. We could also draw a line from the end of this radius to the end of that radius. Same with this one to this one. Okay? Now let's play some. Let's just see what happens. So if we do here, we do trim. Can we select this one? Okay. And if we do trim, okay. Can we select this one? Yes. Okay. If we do trim, here, can we select this one? Yes. And if we do trim here, can we select this one? Yes. Okay. So those look really well. Okay. 
Could we also select trim and would it trim this one? Just so we can clean it up. Now we'll also need to do trim, select our fillet, and trim this little piece here. Okay, we will also need to select this one, trim this little piece here. Same with over here. We're going to select trim, choose the fillet, trim there, fillet, trim there. Now we can erase this line, this line, and this line. Okay. Uh oh, we got a little problem there. Some reason it trimmed it a little different there. Okay. No worries though. Okay. Now, what if we want to trim this one right here? Okay. Could we select here? to here and choose trim. You notice we're using a lot of the trim command, right? Okay. And let's try to do it here because this is a real handy tool to use when you're trying to get rid of things. Okay. So we can get rid of that one too. So now you're like, well, wait a minute. We have these spots right here. Well, if we feel like it's not going to work for us, what I suggest is do a line here to a line here. Because trying to fix this would be virtually uh, basically impossible for us. So what we could do is delete this, delete this one, delete this one, and we could, well, let me re-delete it because I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the the enter button. Okay, so let's do the delete. You're like, ah, oh, what'd you do there? Simple. I'm going to mirror it just like what we did the other time. We're going to mirror this command. Okay, so do we have everything? We don't really need this part. Now we can choose the midpoint here. We can simply just go straight down, hit enter, and now we've cleaned it up. We cleaned it up faster than we could have repaired it. Okay, so that's drawing it. All you need to do now is dimension it.